If you want to improve your Python, you're in the right place. This video is about list comprehensions. So in this series, we're really trying to improve your Python and concentrate on the skills and knowledge that you need. In these videos, we'll use examples, of practice exercises. So this video about list comprehensions will cover a very simple list comprehension. Really, we use them to create lists and use list comprehension with if condition to create a dictionary and also to create a list of pairs in tuples. So let's get on with the coding. We start off with a simple for loop that we all know. So we've got for i in range 10, we can print that and we've got 0 to 9. Now in our list comprehension, what we're going to do is create a list and we're going to use two parts. So in square brackets, we're going to put the variable which in this case is i and then we're going to put the for loop so we have i for i in range 10 and then we're just going to print x to see the list so here in our for loop we've got 0 to 9 and in our list comprehension, we've got 0 to 9. Now, in this case, the for loop, we're just printing i. So list comprehension, we're really going to use when we need to create a list. So let's change our for loop. So we are creating a list. Let's create a list called evens. And here we're going to append evens. Oh, sorry, we're going to append i two evens and then we're going to print that list so we have a list called evens one we append i to that and now when we run that we can see we've got two identical lists now the reason why we call it evens one is we want to look for even numbers so to start off with, we're just going to cheat a little bit by saying i times by 2. And in our list comprehension, we've got i times by 2. So you can see here we've got the same list. But the variable part of our list comprehension is the part inside our for loop. The for loop hasn't changed here but the variable is now multiplied by 2. Now you probably wouldn't use i times by 2. You would probably use an if statement. So let's add an if statement. So we're going to use modular and use range 20. So this is the code that we'd probably see if we was writing using a for loop and an if statement. Now in a comp list comprehension to change that to be the same as our for loop, we can use the if statement, can copy that, and then just add that to our list comprehension. Now when we run these, you can see that we've got the same list. So we've got our variable part, we've got our for loop, and now we've got our if statement, all in one line of code. Now let's take that if statement out again from both our for loop and our list comprehension. And now we're going to change our code slightly. So we have even numbers. And we're going to use that in the for loop. And we're going to multiply i by itself. So therefore, we're going to do the same in our list comprehension. Remember, We've got the same for loop, we've got the same variable part. So now 
when we run our program you see we have our even numbers squared and again the lists are the same. Now what about if we wanted to keep these even numbers and their squares in a dictionary? So we have the number and its square as the key and value. So now we need to change our list to a dictionary and in our dictionary we need to enter i as the key and i times by i as the value. So we need to change our print statement so now we can print that dictionary. So if we just print the for loop first you can see our dictionary here. Now in our list comprehension now we want a dictionary and we want i as the key and i squared as the value. So now when we run that you can see now we've got identical dictionaries from our for loop and our list comprehension. A final example we're going to show a for loop inside a for loop and in a loop. So we've got two for loops with range 3 and we're going to create this tuple called pair where the two values are then appended to a list. So let's run that you can see we have 0,0,0,1,0,2 up to 2,2. Two. So when we want to put that in a list comprehension we can use the same parts. We have i and g, which we have inside our loop. We've got both our for loops inside the list comprehension. And when we print that, you can see that our list of tuples is identical. So we can still use the list comprehensions, even though our for loops start to get a bit more complex. Let's look at the practice exercises. So exercise one, given a list print each number using a list comprehension. So here's an example list and this, will, this is the list that it will look like when you print it using a list comprehension. Exercise two, print the alphabet. Exercise three, print a dictionary with the number and the letter of the alphabet as a key and a value. So you'll end up with 1a, 2b, up to 26z in the dictionary. Now exercise 4, given a list, print the number before and after each number in the list. So here we have the target list and that will print each number either side of the ones, the numbers that are in the target list. And the final exercise, exercise 5, given a list, print the number before the number and the number after together as a tuple of three in the list. So we've got the number, the number before and after together, then three in a tuple, and we have those tuples in a list. And you print them using a list comprehension. Okay, so how did you get on? Now let's go through the solutions. Solution to exercise one, we've got x equals i for i in range 1 to 101 if i in targets so we can run that we've got this the for loop here and we can see the two lists are identical so that's the answer to exercise one exercise two we just print a dictionary so here we've got a string of all the letters of the dictionary and here we've got x equals letter for letter in alf for alphabet when you run that you can see we've got each letter of the alphabet now in this exercise we want to create a dictionary and there's quite a few ways that we could do this and we've used enumerate which we can explain in another video but the, the list comprehension we've got here x equals remember the type of bracketing i colon letter for i letter in enumerate alpha comma one so it starts at one goes to 26 so when we run that you can see we've got 1a 2b 3c up to 26z in this solution we print the numbers either side of our target list 
when we run that we can see with 23 we've got 22 and 24 30 29 31 and so on the list comprehension we have x equals i for i in range and then we've got the two if statements we've got if i plus one in targets or i minus one in targets and then we print x finally we create a list of tuples so we have x equals and then in brackets we've got x mi sorry i minus one i i plus one and then we have the for loop and then we have if i in target so if we print that you can see we've got a list and each member of the list is a tuple of three numbers we have the numbers in our target list the number before and after well if you like that please click the like button and if you want to continue watching these series of videos a good idea would be to subscribe and then you will get a notification when the new videos come out Okay, thank you for watching.